Okay, hey everyone. Today I want to share with you a tool that I found very useful in development for Manifold Garden. Basically, it is an in-game console. So, some of you who've played Doom or Quake or any of the Valve games might be familiar with this. I hit tilde, it pauses the game, and it brings up this console. It lets me type commands. So in this case, I can type help, and it shows me a list of all the current commands. And let's say I want to do toggle no clip. Right. It's got a tab for autocomplete. Then when I exit the console now, I can no clip around the scene. This is very, very useful if I need to test certain things. So the particular tool that I'm using is called Tilda. Full disclosure, I have met the developer of Tilda before and he gave me a key to check out this asset. However, he's not paying me, he does not know I'm doing this, didn't ask me to do it. It's just a tool that I've really enjoyed using and I thought some of you might find it helpful as well. I was actually using another console based on some code I found online, but it didn't have a lot of features and there were a lot of bugs with it, so I ended up switching over to Tilda. Now there are some things that I really like about Tilda First is that it has autocomplete, as you can see. So if I type in toggle, uh, I can just hit tab and it completes the command. Something else is that it's got, you can include documentation for each command. So for example, load level here, right? That shows load is seen with a given name. And also I can leave a note to myself about how to input the syntax. So in this case, I would do load level and then put a number. For example, load level one will load world 001 optimized. Something else that's really cool is command history. So I can hit up and this actually remembers, I can select previous commands that I've used. So in this case, toggle no clip. Let's do set no clip speed. And um, we're gonna do that. Okay, so in this case, it also you can also put out errors. So set no clip speed requires two arguments, acceleration and max pan speed. Set no clip speed, let's change it to 10, two. Okay, now when I exit no clip, you can see I'm moving a lot slower. So what I've used this for is adding different cheat codes that are really useful for me as I'm testing the game. So I can disable certain areas. And the nice thing is then I don't have to create UI, I don't have to make a menu where you have to press buttons to select this, I can just have the function and call that from the console. So what I've been doing the last, well, just yesterday mostly, is adding commands that are useful for capturing video footage in order to edit together a trailer. So for example, I've got set uh, toggle, numpad, camera controls. And what this does is it lets me use the numbers on the numpad to tilt and pan the camera around. So here I'm pressing eight and it tilts the camera up, two tilts the camera down, four pans it to the left, holding down eight and six you do, um, well, you tilt and pan at the same time. And this is just a lot easier to get accurate movement instead of having to use a joystick. Um, now, if I want to change the sensitivity of this, of the movement, I can actually have got a command for it, which is set numpad, oops, set numpad control sensitivity. And right, so I need to put a parameter, 0. 0 0.1. Okay, and you can see it's now moving a lot slower. So we've got a whole bunch of commands. I've got, I can actually load another level, load level, and huh, okay, that's actually, that shouldn't be a capital L, load level two. It's gonna load world zero zero two. There we go. All right, I'm still in no clip. Okay, it looks like there are some colliders that are still here from something else, but that's a different problem. In any case, Tilda is pretty awesome. I highly recommend you all check it out. Whether you use Tilda or a different 
asset or roll your own, I think uh, command console is very useful. All right, hope this is helpful for you all. <laughs> Have a good one.